Hello, brothers and sisters of the light, fellow star seeds, way showers, light bringers, change makers, and the grid workers. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another message from the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton for November 4th, 2022. And the title of this message is What You Came to Earth to Do. And they begin greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are quite satisfied with the way that you all have been looking to include one another in a variety of ways. You are shifting from seeing yourselves as individuals to knowing that you are a collective. And with that shift comes a knowing that everyone and everything that you see is included within you. And so, when you see the way that humanity has been divided recently and you realize that it's a problem, those of you who are awake tend to want to do something about it. In this case, you look for opportunities to include others who you might traditionally, historically, exclude from your thoughts and your feelings of compassion. If you can be compassionate towards someone who you disagree with on a number of points and issues, then you will have risen above the divisiveness that is so present on your world today. And if you listen to someone with whom you disagree and try to understand where they are coming from, you will have taken a step towards more unity, more of that oneness that you and other awakened souls are seeking. You don't have to take sides in order to be right. You can rise above all of it and be love. You can be love in the face of hate, bigotry, racism, homophobia, transphobia, misogyny, and everything else that you experience on your world today. And that can give you the experience of sadness, anger, fear, or even hate. Everything that is there and that is triggering you is there for that purpose. It's not because something is broken or something is wrong. It's because you need to be triggered in order to get to that very specific and sometimes buried down inside emotion. Once you do, you can rise above it because you want to be loved and because you know that you are more powerful as a collective than you are as individuals. You are more powerful unified than you are divided, and just because someone disagrees with you on something does not make them your enemy. They just have a different point of view, a different perspective. Now, it can be very challenging to do what we are suggesting here, especially when the person or people we are talking about have hate in their heart towards a particular group. We know that it is a tall order to forgive, to love, or feel compassion for those people. But it is the only way to raise the consciousness of humanity. You are not going to raise the consciousness of humanity just by being right. You're not going to raise the consciousness of humanity by looking down your noses at those that you deem to be wrong. You are going to raise the consciousness of humanity because that is what you are there to do. And you are also there to embody more of that unconditional love because that is a way to becoming fifth dimensional. It is the way to becoming your higher selves. And that is part of your destiny. So you might as well embrace that destiny now, which means also embracing every aspect of you. And remember, if you see it out there in any form, it is also within you and it needs to be healed. That's why you see so many people on your world today getting louder. They represent something that's inside of you that you've been ignoring. Please pay attention to everything that's going on inside of you and be the healers, the way showers, and the change makers you were born to be. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. So I liked the second paragraph. They tell us to look for opportunities to include others that might traditionally or historically exclude from your thoughts and your feelings and compassion. We all know it's easy to love the people that we agree with and everything, but sometimes we do have, we all have at one point in our lives had prejudices against someone or some group of people for whatever reason. Maybe it's the way we were raised. Maybe it's something we learned later on in life, as was the case for myself. I take a great deal of care to work through all of these things, and I know that you are all working on yourselves as well. 
This marvelous inspirational message from the Arcturian Council was channeled by Daniel Scranton. His own website is danielscranton.com. I will be able to post the words to this message below in the show more section. I am Julie Joy, your servant to the light, always inspired to be able to bring these marvelous messages to all of you. Thank you.